Best part of this boss is the slide, yes. Let's drop the floor, say hello to the, the missus. Honey, I'm home. <laughs> Does she, I, I don't remember if the floor, because the floor falls falls out from under you, but I don't remember if, the, if that's like phase two. Can I just get there? Oh God. Oh, I, I guess I can just run towards it. Oh boy. All right, I think we're safe. We're safe. Yep. Oh. Wife needs a trimming. So really, that's all this boss is about. It's just, uh, well, dying. Uh, and also, yep. All right. <laughs> uh, it's about hitting those bugs once, just getting to one, and there's three of them. And the ones on the side are the ones you have to do first. And that's it, that's all it is. And just dodging the hands as you go. So, pretty, uh, Pretty awful design, because dodging the hands is not easy, especially if you don't have a good old ring of flipping with you, and and then also like going in not knowing what to do the first time too. Exactly, because you're gonna go up to her and probably try to whack her, and that's not gonna work out. Did you remember the lava ring? Yes, I did, and that's why I am still alive. Now I have to take the lava ring off. <laughs> oh god, please, sir. No. Yeah, because this fight, like, you know, it doesn't require you to really heal that much because it's either you... Either you eat shit or you don't. Honestly. <laughs> I mean, you can take a hit, but then you'll see in the second phase, she drops the, uh floor from under you, and so getting hit is often a death sentence. Uh, but, luckily, in their infinite wisdom, they made the progress to this boss permanent. One of the few bosses I can think of they've ever made that uh, transitioning from one phase to another becomes permanent. So, you know, you run back, and but it's like, once you know what you're doing, it's pretty much a guaranteed victory. Uh, on the third try, unless unless you just die, it happens. Rare eyes with W. Yes, I'm glad that they had the foresight to at least have play tested this a little bit and be like, oh wow, this isn't fun. Let's make this a little bit less not fun, but not not super fun. That's important. You don't want to make it too fun. You can see the bug on the left that we got earlier is gone. And now she has a big old flaming, uh, whatever, that. <laughs> oh, and, and the thing about that arm sweep, too, is like, I shouldn't have said it was a guaranteed win. But the thing about that arm coming by, too, is you can't actually iframe through it. You can iframe the damage, but... It does still push you if you don't get it like in the right spot. So you have to stay away from where the ledges are gonna be, which I don't always remember because they don't appear until you walk over there. Yeah, it's uh, I would describe it as hell. I guess that's pretty on theme with the location. Flaming Scythe is really cool. That would be a cool weapon to get, actually. I feel like Dark Souls 3 dropped the ball on that. Although you do get the um, the Flaming Cutlass that like secondaries as a Pyromancy Flame in the DLC of Dark Souls 3. Kind of like a Scythe-ish. Yep. 
Yeah, no, I mean, like, I like the design, just like the centipede demon, I like the design and, like, how it looks visually, especially once the flaming wings or whatever come out. I can just ignore this guy. the poodle demon. Yes. We're gonna stick close to the to the the walls here. See if maybe we can't just mosey on over the nice lady's weak point. Keep an eye on what it's doing. <laughs> just hit. <laughs> <laughs> that comes out of nowhere! How am I supposed to keep an eye on that? Oh man, it's been a while and now I'm like remembering this boss. Yeah, don't don't let me say it's gonna be easy again. I wonder if maybe like I remember maybe using a shield would help, we could try that. And just uh, you know what? Actually, yeah, we're gonna do that. Use shield, Balder shield, because it looks nice. Uh, and we're gonna, we're gonna, we're just gonna like karate chop through the branches. Cause all we have to do is get there. Yeah, I thought this one looked nice with the glamour, as far as all the ones I have now. It's a little off color, but it looks pretty good. <coughs> Excuse me. I forgot, you're not karate chopping in this game when you don't have a weapon out, you're punching. But I I remember because Bloodborne is the one that has karate chops. We need karate chops back. That, that's a That's a thematic fail. We we need karate chops back in these games. And don't get me started about the quick step in Bloodborne. We need that back. I want another Bloodborne, like spiritual successor at least, or something. This Bloodborne's quick step gameplay is really fun and they haven't really implemented like a similar thing again all right all right i need to focus okay the shield does block oh we're dead it's over oh, shh. holy fuck oh my God. <laughs> it's actually funny it's pretty funny to watch Cause that that thing just slaps you around like it's no problem. Oh man. So here we are, running back to the bitch of Isolith. Watch someone walk closer to the center first and it changed the attack pattern drastically, really? But then still go for the one on the right? Yeah, I am mid-rolling, I forgot to change the uh, ring again. It's getting a little tedious. Okay, I'll try that. So just go forward, and then once I get to the end, just head right. I'll try it. It tried to attack the mid. Yeah, that makes sense. That's definitely, I think, what most people would probably try at first. I mean, you can see, like, the big fire bubbles. 
weak point looking things, but it shockingly stopped using the sweep. Oh man. Hey, anyway, I wonder if that's just a glitch or if that's supposed to happen. see what happens here. <laughs> what was that, dude? What was that? Oh <laughs> Alright. We're gonna regroup. Please let me regroup. Okay. It's coming. Here it comes. Okay, is it just gonna stop now? You can't go through here, right? You gotta get the other two. So now does it just stop? Oh, there it goes. It's going again. No, don't knock me off. Don't do it. Okay, let me heal, let me heal. It's over, dude. Playthroughs go over. It's it is done. I can't get through. Oh my god. Oh my god, we made it. Oh, yeah. oh. DIE BEAST! We did it, boys. Must have been crazy luck, yeah. It probably was. It was worth a try, though, and we, we got there. It was, it was a little bit of an adventure. But we got there. Maybe it's the weird corner you healed in. Yeah, it kind of did stop once I got there, actually. Alright, well, we're pretty much dead. One more time. Oh, yeah, here we go. Did I just bone out? No. Didn't need to. Well. It's not a sure win, but now is kind of the easy part, I think, which is just getting down to the middle and dropping down. Once you drop down, you're safe. I do remember being knocked out of the air, though, in the past. <laughs> Shielding worked, though, honestly, because the one time I rolled during that attempt was, uh... It knocked me all the way to the other side. It's insane. I'm trying to like bayonetta dodge it, but it doesn't work. That was funny. Yeah, all the way to the opposite side, I already got, right? 